What is going on guys? Wise here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Oh, well, actually a couple of the last wars. Um these were our midweek matchups. Uh generally don't do a lot of recaps for our midweek matchups, but we did have a random matchup right after the CWL versus War and Glory. So obviously wanted to show you guys some of that footage. Uh as well, uh just gonna start off quickly with our last war against this clan clearly confused. Did want to give these guys a bit of a shout out. Um, uh, check out, check them out guys. Uh, I'm going to go over to their clan information. <clears throat> check out their Facebook, Twitter, facebook.com, clearly confused at COC. Um, you know, this is a very, like, look at all their feeders, uh, perplexed, baffled, disoriented, rep so they have four feeder clans, definitely a large, large family, um, within Clash of Clans. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them like a hardcore Again, I hate the wording, and I, I don't want to offend them anyway. But um, definitely not, you know, uh, not like a CWL clan, more of a family style clan that just wars constantly, uh, promotes a good atmosphere. So definitely seems like they uh, they got a good little uh, thing going on over there, guys. So if you're not looking for anything too nuts and and crazy, um, you know, like a CWL clan, but you want you want a clan that you're gonna feel at home with that. Uh, that wars constantly and just works together. Uh, go ahead and check these guys out. Uh, I'm going to show a few quick ones from this war. Number 17, Danny Boy. <clears throat> so uh, a couple little, couple Town Hall 10 point defenses in there. Uh, obviously the level 3 Infernos. Very interesting sort of style base. Really trying to segregate, um, you know, the Inferno Towers and these air defense away from the rest of the base. Not necessarily a bad idea. Um, Dan's going to figure this one out pretty quickly, though, with this uh, with this Penta. He's just going to get a bit of a funnel created, get a poison down for the CC troops. I think he ends up, oh, a little bit off on the minis. So doesn't get the minis there, unfortunately. <laughs> going to waste the Queen's time taking those out one at a time. <clears throat> Gets that Suicide King in there. Gets right, in fact, that poison didn't even get the queen. So a little work on your poison there, Dan. <laughs> missed the minis and missed the queen, but no big deal. King is in. Queen is now just going to continue to work through. Obviously, very low-level heroes on this base. So uh, this queen is really just going to overpower that section of base. Takes care of uh, the defensive queen. The clan castle troops are dead. So their job is done. So it's going to go ahead and start the Lalo portion from 12 o'clock. First two hounds are in. Just going to start sprinkling balloons in from behind. Two, three, and one. Nice little haste spell. Get right on on top of that wizard tower. And down goes that first air defense. Two more hounds are now in at the 9 o'clock air defense. Same thing. Exactly the same thing. This is very symmetrical base. You know, you can just kind of do the same thing on either sides. Have the exact same result. Everything's now going to converge onto the core here. <clears throat> You're going to see a couple of these bases. It's very similar. Once... Uh, you pick apart the Lalo on the outside, the rest of the balloons have nowhere to go except to this core, and you can just sort of rage and freeze or whatever and get really good value. Might have pushed that rage a little bit back onto that Tesla farm, but no big deal. Gets that another haste down. Down go the Teslas. Just got to work through the little Expo and Archer, uh, Archer Tower chamber down here, which is definitely a bit of a threat, but considering it's all point defense and pretty much everything is locked onto that remaining hound, as long as you're looking A-OK. -okay. And do a little bit of a fast forward action. It's got cleanup pups all over the base. Down goes the Wiz Tower. That's a tree star in the bag for Danny Boy. Nice job, buddy. All right. I haven't shown Z Bear in a recap in a little while. Bringing a, another. This is a, just a quad Lalo. Going to go ahead and suicide his heroes in as well. Sends in those balloons to yank out that clan castle. Opens up the wall with the wall breakers. No trash on that outside. He can literally just drop the breakers right on the wall. Doesn't matter about the defenses. They cannot kill them in time. Open things up. Suicide King is in. Only level 34 King Z-Bear has. So he needs to start uh, farming his ass off here. Seems like he's been... Uh, <laughs> this bugging is he, but you, you declare that you don't need it. You're just going to walk in with this uh, level 40 queen now. She's going to finish off that drag, finish off that defensive queen. Things are looking good. You got an air defense down in the process. So let's go ahead and send in these four lava hounds and 20 balloons. Nice little haste spell on the edge there. Really got to get into that wizard tower ASAP. Work those balloons into that very uh, third air defense, or sorry, second air defense there. And same thing, sort of down at 6 o'clock, gets that um, third hound in, sends in a few more balloons on each of those defenses, just slowly working. 
<clears throat> See, he does lose this stuff because the same sort of action I was talking about, his remaining balloons had nowhere to go except right into that core, and they sort of get shredded. Um, but you're going to see all the uh, this huge clump of balloons ends up just working right across here using this rage. Here they go. Smash it into that core. Second rage is down. Good job on the spell placements. Down go the Inferno Towers. Down goes, let's <laughs> just smash that very compact core. Down goes that last air defense, and by the skin of his teeth here, this sweeper ends up actually giving him a little bit of trouble here. These last couple balloons just get that wizard tower down in time and allow for these pups and minis to clean up the rest of the base. Nice job, Z. Ah, nice little morning coffee. Boom. Treat in the bag. Uh, 15. Dennis, my man, bringing a penta. Uh, so a lot of these, a uh, lot of these uh, troop comps I find are based just on the very compact, sort of symmetrical designs. Um, what I liked about Dennis here, all the other ones were suicide heroes to make sure you get that defensive queen out of the way. Dennis is like, ah, fuck it, we're just gonna freeze the queen. Let let the hounds burst, get a poison spell down, and not worry about it, right? There's going to be so many pops up that the queen is going to go down very quickly. Down she goes, and things are looking pretty. Just got to rage into this air defense and this air defense down on this backside. Still has two hounds in there. One is about to burst, but has that max hound now. She's going to do huge tanking there forever on that town hall line and uh, air defense. Out of balloons now at this point, but don't forget we still have not dropped the hero. So in come these now suicide heroes, basically to take care of this wizard tower and this little section of base down here. Just going to smash through the rest of this stuff. Fortunately, this air defense ended up staying alive and does wreak a little bit of havoc here. But Dennis ends up prevailing, just has to work through these clan castle troops. And there's far too many pups coming in from the backside here. This air defense going to have to pick them off one at a time. Boom, boom, boom. Finally, that queen works through that clan castle. You're going to see what I mean here in a moment. See, just starts wreaking havoc. This was down. This, dude, These two were down. It was GG on this base, but queen's going to have to finish things off. No big deal. <laughs> By the skin of his teeth, Dennis. Tree stars in the bag. Good job, man. All right, and then I do have, I just want to show this one also real quick. Sort of very crazy, crazy-ish, oh, crazy-ish base design. Um, very, very exaggerated, right? All four Expos Eagle, like, look at this juicy compartment. So the real question is, you just got to figure out a plan. How do you get a majority of your troops, whether it be a Lalo, whether it be Valks, how do you get them? to this chamber and get them under a raid spell with a freeze or something like that because uh, the rest of this base is going to be pretty easy to pick off once you uh once you figure out how to deal with that corp so titan's going in here with um suicide heroes again basically he's gonna he, he's got an air defense out of the way um did he get that defensive queen out of the way yep uh and and Basically, th this whole section of base now is taken care of, uh, leaving the Lalo to come in from 12. See, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about here. Once this top section of base is, cause, mainly because of this army camp, plus because but because uh, he sends in these troops from 9 o'clock. So now this whole section of base is going to get taken care of, leaving the 10 o'clock and then straight to the core. So all of his troops now, see are all going to converge onto this meaty core. He's going to go ahead and drop a raid spell, drop a free spell. There it goes. Excellent. Just missed the eagle cannon there, but no big deal. He's got more than enough stuff in there. He's even got the Grand Warden in there helping out for the most part. Now, the scary part is there's a ton of minis chasing all his balloons here because he didn't get the clan castle. Um, but his pups sort of lock on and distract them for long enough. He's got enough balloons going around the rest of the base. Still has five minis. Still has two haste. Still has an unburst hound at that six o'clock air defense. Just got to work through the rest of that stuff. See what I mean? This pack of minis just wreaking havoc on, on his air army here. But he's got just enough to kind of sort of fight back against them here now. Just chaos at this point, though. I don't know if he... I, yeah, finally that last mini goes down. He's got enough troops. Down goes the town hall. <laughs> wow 
Titans creaks away with that one too. So crazy, crazy, crazy uh, base designs. Nice to see some of our guys uh, pull through on those ones. So clearly confused. Thank you for the war. Uh, was a pleasure. I uh, am going to rip in. Ooh, got a live attack in the war right now. Oh yeah, we're doing the uh we're doing a little family uh family uh quick scrim before our CWL matches this uh this evening. So uh anyhow, going in, more in glory. You see the score, 116, 111. Warren Glory had a fantastic warp. Um, you know, really did their diligence. Couple, you know, I, I actually they sent out a tweet said it was one of their best performances ever, and I believe it. The two town hall eleven triples, um, and cleared uh, cleared the tens with relatively relative ease, I should say. Uh, fantastic job, Warren Gore. They did have a slight advantage, but definitely nothing to cry about. I think an extra 11 or something like that. No big deals, though. Uh, 2.0 for the most part. We did okay. Again, we're falling just short on these 10 versus 10 triples. Um honestly, it's a difference, it's a difference of a cup, you know, two, three, even four, um, four attacks going our way. And the war is going to be a completely different story. Um, obviously, you know, you're not going to face clans that get two Town Hall 11, 11 versus 11 triples every day. Uh, it is it is going to happen, though. But we are just falling short on some of these 10 versus 10s. Uh, having used too many of our 11s to, uh, uh, to, to clean up the rest. So... It's unfortunate, but we know where our, uh, our issues are, and we are working hard at it. And uh, we do have our uh, CW matchup tonight. We're searching for pigeonism. So uh, week seven, that should be a good one. Really, really, we're in a must-win now situation, and uh, we are rallying the troops. And uh, hopefully, we're going to try and uh, try and win out here and make the playoffs because that'll be awesome. That's exactly what our goals are. But uh, I do want to just fly through a few of these. This was uh, a few days ago. This war. Um, Starting off with Clutchy Boy here. I want to show this one because I actually helped them plan this set, this hit. Um, one thing we noticed was this sort of like V-shape natural funnel all leading to this air defense right here. Um, then this little sort of um, half circle, whatever, semicircle of uh, air defense in the core. Just kind of, we we're, were talking about him bringing this Veiler, um, bringing this Queen down to sort of create the funnel on this side, making sure obviously this uh, storage goes down. We decided we wanted to walk the bowlers around the outside here to take care of these defenses, take care of this 9 o'clock. We did not know these Teslas were here. So it's kind of a bonus actually where we drop the bowlers, getting two Teslas out of the other. They are going to continue to walk all the way around and get all this, leaving this clear path for the Valks to this air defense into the clan castle, into the defensive queen. So we break three rages. Just going to rage that first spot, heal up the Valks so they stay nice and fine and okay while they're getting wrecked by the CC troops. So they move on. Second rage goes down. The idea was, uh, I think we wanted to push this second rage a little further to the right, just so the, um, the idea was, so the Valks will basically just crush all the walls, all this little zigzag of walls in the core and just allow free access for the queen to walk through and mop up. Now, um, queen did, exactly that right so took care of the expo chamber here um and there's not a lot of this base left to go a couple of wizard towers a couple arch towers and a cannon at nine o'clock really are the only threat but he still has three you know he, he dropped a cleanup with there cleanup was at six still has two in the bag to help out with this queen here none of these uh healers maybe he lost one healer i think um you know the, the only threat we knew for the healers at least going with the queen and in, in with the valks was was air mines because all of the all of the air defense were going to get smashed upon entry basically no worries whatsoever and we see it paid off a little bit of cleanup around uh three o'clock and six o'clock got troops all over the map still has a cleanup whiz in the bag plus his queen ability absolutely killed it clutch welcome to 2.0 my friend just quick uh we did actually uh, give a few promotions recently um, to guys as we're trying to continue to bolster our CWL roster. Clutch was one of those guys. Clutch has been with us for, I want to say, the better part of a year. He is the One Hive Swarm leader. He has basically basically taken Swarm and built it into the fine-tuned, you know, well-oiled machine that uh, that is our feeder clan Swarm. He, he does an awesome job down there. Um, you know, more than well-deserved. One of the best hit, hit rates in Invicta and obviously Swarm, so... Gave him a shot, and he's killing it. Had a six-pack this war. Nice job, my friend. Clutch is also my brother-in-law, so <laughs> a little bit of a biased uh, biased view, I guess. But uh, stats stats aren't biased. That's all I'll, I'll say. 
Um, so next on the block I had, didn't want to show too, too many of these uh, Town Hall 9s. They're getting a little stagnant these days. But Robbie Boy just bringing this standard shattered uh, Bolalo. Going to go ahead and rape from 6 o'clock straight at this air defense. Going to lead everything over to the uh, heroes there. And this air defense, number 2, using that jump. So first jump at 6, second jump over the queen chamber there. And everything's going to work exactly as planned. He's just going to walk, zigzag the heroes into this base, take care of those three baby drags with a little bit of poison, a little bit of queen love helping out as well. Wizard step up and help out on top of it. <clears throat> King's jumping on in. Bowlers do go for a little bit of a walk. I don't think he wanted that. But because of the direction he was sort of aiming his uh, king and his golems, it ended up sort of working out because his bowlers just sort of walk around the outside and get all this stuff uh, in the process, which is awesome. Even drops a wizard to help out. Queen is now going to jump into this core, help start finishing off the Teslas. I think she even manages to take care of all of this stuff, the expo, the air defense, the third air defense, keep in mind. So both his hounds are now in a 12 o'clock air defense. Four balloons, five balloons are in, six balloons are in, still a seven in the bag. There's very, very few defenses to go. Has a heal spell as well in the bag. See what I mean, too, about the bowlers? Sometimes it just works out. Sometimes it's like when your queen walks and it just, it's like you meant to do it. <laughs> I don't think he meant to do that, but it worked out perfectly just because of the way he deployed all his troops. He took care of all the defenses, basically, that were a threat. Now the bowlers are doing cleanup work. Has a bazillion balloons and still has that cleanup one. Nice job with the cleanup balloon and the swag heal there, Robbie. Nice job. Nice job, nice job, nice job. How many more times can I say that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's in the morning. <laughs> nice little swag heal. Boom. All right. And I'm out of coffee. That's part of the other. That's part of the problem there. Oh. Uh, what's next? 19. All right. Val. <clears throat> Bring in the quad Lalo, 22 balloons, suicide heroes. Um, whose attack was it I just showed? Does a little zap quake, gets the sweeper and the air defense. That's always nice. So good value on the uh, zap quake. Three hastes, a skelly spell, and a poison. I like that. With suicide hero going in from the 2 o'clock section, basically. Baby dragon trying to help out a little bit with that funnel. Fortunately, does not <laughs> get it. Um... Kind of interested what his thoughts were about sending the heroes in there. Maybe it was just to get the air defense, or sorry, to get the uh, whiz towers and all those archer towers in the process. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, completely opted to not go for the queen, which uh, was sort of what I was getting at from the beginning. Um, and there was that attack. Yeah, whose was it? Dennis, I think it was. You basically just said, you know what, screw the Archer Queen, I'm going to freeze her, I'm going to poison her, and uh, let the pups do their thing. So this Hound right in, right beside her, is about to burst. Poison is down, slowing her rate down, and all these balloons are rated on top. So uh, the pups lock on the, the, the Queen and just start ripping her down. I don't know if he quite get. yeah, he does. So down goes that defensive Queen via the pups. Haste over top, uh, heading on over to the uh, Tesla farm at 9 o'clock there. Another haste spell down. Beautiful. That final hound going to do great tanking work there. Just has to work through that Tesla farm, and down it goes. Down goes the expo. We're going to go ahead and work on over to the re last remaining air defense. He's got pups all over the base. Cleanup troops still, of course, the absolute necessary one cleanup balloon the just in case cleanup balloon for things like this builder's hut over at nine o'clock at this point in the raid you're like okay now where do i drop my last troop well obviously if this pup doesn't go up which it did not we're gonna go ahead and drop a balloon right there right 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 val i know you're gonna do it i swear you're gonna do it <laughs> let's fast forward there it is all right <clears throat> boom again guys i'm gonna have to apologize too if the sound is slightly off um it's my computer has been messy i got to uh i have to redo a lot of my setup one thing i've been talking about as well uh, me and patino from 2.0 um potentially looking up at setting some setting up some sort of podcast uh 
that might be in the works, but in the process to make that happen, I'm going to definitely need to upgrade my equipment. And uh, obviously, I don't know what's going on with the sound right now, but it's getting worse and worse. So uh, I'm going to have to do something fairly soon. But until the till then, my apologies. Let's go ahead and check out our only 10 versus 10 triple this war. Like I said, that's sort of where our struggles lie at the moment. Um, it's coming around. We're getting super high percentages, a lot of attacks. It's just not happening eh, happening consistently enough. Um, we're getting a little bit burned for it, but um, no one's fault. Still working hard at it, and it's, uh, it's coming along nicely. I mean, friendly challenges are going crazy right now in the clan, especially with the CWL hype going on. So uh, Hoodie's going to go ahead and suicide in the heroes right at this defensive queen. <clears throat> So, as soon as his queen sort of wakes up and smells the coffee here, unfortunately he has to work through the town hall first, but no big deal. Wish I had more coffee. Finally, this town hall goes down, so that uh, hit, that uh, defense queen's going to lock on. Hits that ability, down she goes, and go ahead and start the Lalo. Nice little penta coming in. First two hounds are in. Few balloons on each defense Hay spells sort of overlapping, leading everything. Nice little pathway right to that first air defense. Fortunately, does miss that wizard tower on the way, uh, but gets a couple balloons over there to take it out just in time. Nice little raid spell and free spell over to that inferno. Or, uh, sorry, over to that next air defense. Everything working up to this 12 o'clock sort of um, Tesla farm, but has another hound in. Still, look at all those hounds sitting over top that air defense. Barely lost any of them. Finally, that air defense goes down. Three is there even four hounds? There's at least three hounds there. One burst to that mine. I think he does get another one to burst here in a moment. But other than that, just smashing through the rest of these town hall nine defenses on this base. Like a champ. Look at that. Still has two hounds in there. I think one does burst because of the expo being locked onto it. Yeah, one second it's gonna burst. Just in perfect timing, just to finish off these uh, buildings in the core. Hood rat. And then, did you see that? That was the first point the clan castle troops came onto the base because I guess his queen or whoever <laughs> got up to the clan castle. But right as the base dies, he managed to do that whole raid without the clan castle coming up. But that was kind of kind of funny as well. Anywho, War and Glory, fantastic job. You guys are always, always a difficult opponent. Um, and obviously, when you're putting up a couple town hall 11 versus 11 trips in a war, uh, you know, you mean business. And that's what we're striving towards right now. Um, just got to work through a few of our kinks at town hall 10 and then uh, going to open up the gates for town hall 11s. And yeah, we'll be right in in the mix of things. So, uh, guys, pigeonism coming up tonight. So look forward to that recap. Going to call it an afternoon here, though, because that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.